Hi, Toddle. Hello, goodness me. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I am panicking. I'm excited. I'm scared of whatever that thing was. <laughs> Oh, it looked amazing. It was like War of the Worlds all over again. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, for those that don't know, we've literally just reacted to the latest trailer, the one from the con to, be, co uh, to be continued. And uh, my jaw was on the floor the whole entire time. And I'm just glad a lot of stuff was answered um because there's been so many speculations from myself and total this week yes. and a lot of you guys in the comments so um yeah it's just i'm just glad we got some but, stuff but then we got more stuff to talk about there's so, so much to unpack yeah. from that video mm -hmm. i'm and i think there's more coming but obviously we'll save that yeah for... we'll talk about that um yes, but we brought a friend we did um you might know who he is um, he's been extremely busy, but, uh, I'd like to introduce you to... <coughs> I was supposed to do a bit there, but I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> what did you try to do? Because we can't see you right now. So. Sit from my coffee cup. Oh, just like stare into the camera or something. The funny thing is, we can't see each other right now. Like, we have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I'm talking to myself in OBS. So it's like, I can't see what Snut's doing. Like, I can't see what Toto's doing. So I'm uh, nude in my apartment, and I am having the time of my life. Sounds like a party, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> sounds like a party. But, yeah, Snut, that video. It was all right. It, 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 was, it was more than all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You, you was in bed at quarter past three compared to you watching that first clip so um why are you in bed at all it because i got nothing better to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah i did pick up on it i saw it i was like hmm gg's on these videos because what you do on these videos is absolutely insane yeah oh thanks so funny but then so entertaining i think it's a highlight for the community every time these little teasers kind of come out and uh, I think it's a treat, and I'm hoping we see more in the future, even though this was the last teaser, but I'm guessing maybe for 2.0. <laughs> 2.0, holy shit. We all want to. Yeah, I'll see but... you in another eight years, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just on a walking stick, just... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back in my day, we used to have Windows 11. <laughs> <laughs> Windows 11. Yeah. Um, Those are the days. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's fun. I, I like making these videos, um, and I like I like when people speculate on the videos because uh, every single video I make, I always try to think of it as like I I'm making this video for community, right? But I'm also making this for everyone else, sort yeah. of that mm -hmm. want to do something with the videos. So I always try every single video I've made so far. I've tried to like, how can I make this video to be inf very informative, but also how can I make this video so that people can do something with it after the fact be cryptic and yeah. yeah the funny thing is because uh my last video i released for some reason uh my flashbangs were going off during that video <laughs> one of the comments had me howling because it was like snuts probably hanging outside the window in a men in black suit trying to flashbang your memory right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> <laughs> and i was dead i was absolutely dead um but before we get into this i want everyone to go into the comments in Total's channel in my channel and just put a lovely message for the dev team um and and snot and everything in the comments because they'll go through them and read them so do that because it's the last trailer so it's good morale boost and just show some love and support but then i think we can get into the first topic and all that kind of stuff so yeah oh, well yeah. beforehand probably yeah. just to mention i don't think the community realize how much work goes into each of mm. these trailers that you do yeah like i am so impressed with what you managed to sneak by us or <laughs> like put in for us like fantastic work and uh, hats off to you for it there's, there's definitely been like a learning curve to this for me because like i feel like i've finally at this point hit like the balance of like 
how do I make it sneaky, but not <laughs> like impossible? <laughs> and also make it like because there's there's a bit of low-hanging fruit where i'm like i know people will pick up on this and uh and they do yeah uh so yes yeah, it's, it's really fun to see like people react to this and it's also i think it's fun for everyone as well at, like when when this stuff finally comes out and we're like clarifying like this is how it works then people can feel also that like oh i figured it out you're like there's there's a bit of an element there as well where yeah. i want people to find out like i don't want it to be like just haha only i knew you know it's it's for everyone really. yeah i could only imagine like just sitting there and just listening to people's thoughts and going wait how did you get to this from this <laughs> how did you get this from this and like it's like you're just gonna be sat there just laughing giggling and like <laughs> so confused and everything but yeah 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 and it's it's clear that we we've managed to get a few things right but we've also mm -hmm. got a load wrong <laughs> yeah yeah so We'll get to it in later on um, in regards to what I thought on something, what total. And then we found out we was both right. Um, mm. And we kind of talk about that. But I, I can't wait any longer. And I think we need yeah. to get into some of this stuff because there was some stuff in here which we didn't expect coming. There was something which in the first topic, which is the new fuels. Yes. Yeah. So if you want to go with fuels on this one. Okay. Well, we, we have two new fuels. Mm. Um the first one is the Charizard fuel. <laughs> That's what it's called, I guess. What was it? The the rocket fuel, and then we had the uh, ionized fuel. The funny thing with the rocket fuel, I remember, I think you did a stream with Mark, and it was when you were releasing the nitrogen gas, and I put a message in, and it was like, are we going to get, like, NOS gas for our tractors? <laughs> and now we have rocket fuel that we can rocket use fuel. on them, so... Yeah. <laughs> Um, but it's it's pretty interesting. Not only that we've we've got these two fuels, one of which is using power shards, isn't it? The ionized one. Yeah, the ionized one. And we've actually seen that in a previous trailer. We both actually spotted it in yes. the one minute toilet flush trailer, uh, which you see it in one shot. Two um, shots. Yeah, two shots. I'll try and put some B-roll over this on that, which is you can see the hub in the distance and then. Mm -hmm. Uh, kind of like the the handle kind of canisters, um, yeah, in there as well. Yeah, it totally threw me off because I thought it was well, it was over the gas, like the gas was going off, and I was like, ah, oh, that that's a new gas extractor, and we've yeah, got new gas yeah. canisters. Nope. <laughs> well, we don't we can't say that just yet. Well, we, that that is there's, true. There could well, be still some stuff to come. Uh, well, this video sort of summarizes everything you, you're gonna see in one point So, like, I've, does it? Does it? Um, I mean, unless I forget something, which isn't impossible, I guess. But like, yeah, mm. because mm. I did because I did forget to put in fuel types in the previous video. Because that oh, was supposed to be in that one. Yeah, that's a good point. You could clear something up that you said in Total's chat, which was the <clears throat> Fixonium fuel burn rate or something. Yeah, the mm. Fixonium fuel rods. Um, I mentioned that they're the worst fuel type. For yeah. like nuclear power plants, and it's because they have the fastest burn rate, and that was also supposed supposed to be in the video, but I forgot to uh, point yeah. that out when we were editing it. Yeah. So like myself and Total went to look at what it is, and obviously plutonium ten minutes, uranium five minutes, which means it's going to be lower than five minutes. So. I think it's two and a half. I can't actually <laughs> ignore numbers actually because like yeah yeah the, I never the... I can never remember these. <laughs> yeah. mm. So it's below. Five minutes. <laughs> Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's well, still yeah, five it, minutes and above it, one it's, second. It's the worst one, so yeah. 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 Uh fuel. Yeah. Total. Uh sorry to, yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, are you gonna go on with something no, no, about no. fuel? It's still your topic, so So we, we have the rocket fuel, which is using the nitrogen uh, nitric acid and then turbo fuel and the interesting thing with that is also it's made in the blender and then outputs as a byproduct the compacted coal so we're going to be able to use the compacted coal in other production lines if we want or for power as well um yeah. possibly i can weapon. mention that you need compacted coal to make uh, turbo fuel right so yes oh yeah, yeah so, you can cycle oh, back so in. It, it's oh. like a feedback loop there i didn't think about that I was thinking too busy about the aluminium side of things. Hmm. Oh, it can be used in that way, but yeah. 
the other thing with the the fuel is also its burn rate in the generators so depending on which type i think rocket is it rocket fuels four four point four one six seven yeah. yes it's like one of those weird uneven <laughs> numbers <laughs> that'll be fun to balance and then the, the yeah, other one because we want you to upgrade to I ins fuel right we want oh, you to okay. go to the steady three three and a half meters. Oh, it's it's three three. Oh, okay. And the other thing with that is we can package those and use them in our jetpacks for yep. two different types of fuels. I'm interested to know whether we, if we put rocket fuel and we jump on a Mark VI belt, whether we're just gonna like <laughs> warp off just, into the whoa, distance. That's true, actually. <laughs> just launch. Like you're gonna you're gonna hit that achievement. Hit, hit the sky, mm. high sky limit or something. You don't need the hyper tube cannons anymore. <laughs> oh yeah. We don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> Who uses hypertube cannons anymore? Yeah. Now that's a big question. A lot of people question. do. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I know. The reason I baited it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then the other one, because the, the, they have different boost, right? So one launches higher, right? And yeah, the so, other um, one... so yeah, rocket fuel has higher, like, ceiling of velocity, so it can reach a higher maximum velocity essentially mm -hmm. vertically specifically yeah. so you can okay. go up faster than you can with the other one uh but the ionized fuel in jetpack has like better handling you know it's easier to to control yourself when you're flying around you're not floating as much yeah uh, you have a lot of vertical momentum there as well um and i would say like ionized fuel is really like the more flexible one out of the two yeah um because the rocket fuel is mostly there if you just want to go straight up, essentially. Yeah, I think the I'm gonna I'm gonna be leading towards the ionized fuel because I'm I'm a uh, this is kind of like a war that's in the satisfactory community. You could say, is, <laughs> what are you a liquid biomass or you a turbo fuel? Like, <laughs> I like the the, the 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 length and control of the liquid biomass, and then some people like the speed uh, of the need turbo for fuel. speed. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this one's a good balance between them both. So. And then you have mm. me who refused to get rid of the hover pack. I just use that constantly. <laughs> just use it everywhere. I would love to see a Mark II variant of the hover pack. Yeah, with a uh, thingy. I think that it. would be really... Oh, we could use batteries. Because like we looked into that at update 6 or 7. I can't remember. It was At some point, we actually looked into like, can we just buff the hover pack? And we were like, yeah, let's do it. And then Mark ran the numbers, I guess. And he came back like, mm, actually, we can't. And I... Never understood really why, but there was mm. some design decision behind like why we couldn't mm. buff the hover pack. Yeah, like a Mark II with like batteries in it or the new IKEA lamp and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, in limited power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then obviously these can go into vehicles and all that kind of stuff, right? So Yeah. Yeah. Does the fuel type uh change the speed of the vehicles? Mm, only for drones. Only for the drones. Mm. Oh, interesting. That's a shame. As far as I know, unless they... That's what yeah, they told me. Can you imagine me. the supersonic <laughs> trucks? Nitrous, yeah, rocket-fueled like, trucks. I can hear the yeah. Fast and Furious music act right now. Like <laughs> No, I, th I think it's mostly that like, they'll last longer. So you can take more trips with... like The better the fuel, the, the longer the trip you can take with like trucks, for instance. Um, mm -hmm, and with okay. the drones, it's like specifically speed. So it's like drones will be able to travel faster between the ports. But that's a big change in itself, isn't it? Because yeah. before we were just using batteries, so that frees up sulfur yep. and yep. Uh, changes speeds as well. Yeah, because that was the big problem with drones is that we needed them with sulfur, then sulfur led to nuclear. And that's why a lot of people, including myself, need wanted more sulfur. Was I, because of that. I thought that was kind of solved with the, the use of the magnetic field generators not taking the batteries anymore. No, that, um, this is just but this me. Is, building large not mm -hmm. that's all it is <laughs> go just big or go home large. it's not an everybody problem it's just me building a large factory but this is actually a more. general thing where when we were working on tier 9 is that we felt that batteries were gating so much stuff like you mm. you constantly ran into like oh but you need to make batteries and then you needed more of them so like we just felt yeah. that we needed to free up batteries a little bit so that not everything was dependent on that like production chain mm. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's one of the reasons why we removed it from the uh, magnetic field generator recipe and also why we felt that drones, it makes sense to use more fuel types uh, so you have options there. 
yeah. yeah. I feel the whole of 1.0 is like this massive rebalance of everything and it, it works well. On paper, <laughs> it seems to work really well with what you've done, especially with the converter as well. Yeah, I I, I mean, I haven't played uh, Tier 9 extensively, but like mm -hmm. the stuff that I've done, I've really enjoyed the numbers. Um, I've, I don't know if it's because I've, I've, I feel like this is not the case. I don't feel like I have learned more about the game. I just feel like that it's easier to set up production chains with the new uh, balancing of the game. And it's easier to like figure out um, when ratios are off. It's easier to figure out like how to fix them or like how to make them even. Yeah, yeah. Because we we, we we touched on this last week. Because it's like the converter is something that could be not just for one type of player. It could be for someone who's doing modular builds, large builds, someone who wants to uh, build, uh, you know, big chains to make one item. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's 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 a big game changer, um, which is what we touched on last week. Mm -hmm. um, Speaking of building factories, uh -huh. the uh, quality of life changes as well. Oh, yeah, are pretty mm. awesome. Yeah. So, if we just if I just mentioned the straight conveyor belts, I think that would have been enough because I cannot tell you how much of a game changer that is. Uh, at least for me, in the way, in the style that I build factories, where yeah. I like that 90 degree turn, mm -hmm. um, it just like removes like three steps almost, it feels like, yeah. of, of building. Yeah. Uh, you don't need as many poles anymore because the, the curve will come without a pole. Oh. Ah. Oh, yeah, we could actually see that in the trailer, right? Yeah. So, because like you only need the end pole. So, you don't need that like extra yeah. pole to be able to get the curve. That's one extra U object. Yeah. Not the so, yeah. I mean, they add up. <laughs> yeah, they do add up. <laughs> um, and yeah, there's there's a bunch of like changes to snapping in general, like how buildables, because there's a lot of um, edge cases with like how stuff snap to what. Yeah. And we've we've taken a lot of time to like decide. Okay, like how should this behave though when you're snapping it to this and this and this. Mm. So and it's kind of hard to explain all that stuff because there's so many edge cases. Yeah, um, hmm. and it's also hard to explain the whole thing with uh, when you're connecting stuff to buildables. Like when you now you only need to aim at the building. It's sort of like how power works, right? You don't need to like yeah. aim at the connection point. You just aim at the building. Mm -hmm. um, Snap straight to it. I yeah, like the exactly. new you kind of like visuals it gives as well. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like the dotted lines and whatnot. Yeah. They're definitely and... better, and it. I, I I still think that there's it's still. In tight spaces, it might still be tricky, but that's mainly because there's so much going on at the same time. There's so many yeah. like indicators and whatnot. Um, but it's a lot easier to like get some form of indication of like at least the direction of stuff when you're placing them. Because I always had a hard time when I was placing like mergers and splitters, to like sometimes you don't see the arrows, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now yeah. when you actually see like the the movement of the incoming belt or whatever, uh, it makes it easier to see like that you've rotated them correctly. Yeah. Yeah. The I other thing a, that I really like is the new rail system. And I wonder if I can just pick your, your brain really quickly. When you hold control on a at placing a rail straight on a ramp, is that going to to place a straight rail um, so in the same incline or so, not? Yeah, so no, it won't it won't be like a straight like um it will be straight in the uh, in the same axis as the previous like railway point right so if you're if you're at an incline you can still have it go straight but up right um, right so it's mainly i'm not too sure like what the use case specifically like where this is gonna fit in the most for people um, because this is a little bit of a hidden feature. They just like really wanted me to mention it as well because it's not like a new build mode or anything like that. It's just like an extra thing you can do with railways now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it just makes it so like when you're not building on foundations, you can get straighter uh, railways because you always get that little curvature thing going on. Yeah. And yeah. And then you get all these like S, small little S bends <laughs> yeah, going exactly. from one pole to another pole. Yeah. 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 So you can avoid that a little bit better when you're freehand building railways. Yeah. And I think that's mostly where this will be used. And, uh, and does that go without the foundation underneath? Yeah. So, hmm. it, yeah. So, so then if you was to go from a pole and then hold control, it won't go to the ground. It'll ping like a, 
No, it'll, it'll go to the ground. So like that's what I mean with like in ver- verticality. It will oh, right, snap okay. to whatever is on top right. of it. Right. Yeah. So because I was thinking like it won't stay on the same axis as what the other yeah. one is. Yeah. It's so, confusing. But it will. Yeah. It'll, yeah. It'll stay on the same like direction. Yeah. That it's coming from. So it'll be straight. But it'll just be a way. down ramp. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Um, there was something uh, in regards to the belts. Um, I know this was quite a few videos back. I think it was the whole performance video you did. Um, and touching on the belts and like the objects and stuff, because I, I do get this a, a question asked a lot, is, do you know when we used to put down like multiple segments of belts and it used to class as different UI objects? Mm-hmm. With the new thing, because it's all blends to one now, doesn't it? So they update as one, but I'm not yeah. sure, if, but they probably still... They still count as individuals. Still count as individual. Yeah. Okay. They're d- yeah. Individual assets. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I just but we have like this smart system that like creates. Oh wait, no, that's sorry. Ignore that. That's for the. We have the system now. When you place like the cosmetic buildables, um, yeah, they don't count as much to towards the U object count. Oh, oh. that is good um, for me. That is good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because like uh, popcat this... screaming right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't remember that video. I think it was just optimization was the name of the video where yeah, yeah. I talked about like uh, like uh, dumb actors or whatever I call it. No, they um, yeah the the uh, l- lower lower the uh, actors or something. Yeah, yeah, there's something called actor, and it's basically like when we load in the uh, like a building has a ton of logic and stuff tied to it, right? But uh, cosmetic mm-hmm. build pieces don't. But they used to be based on like the same type of actor in, in the game. So they would have a ton of information that wasn't really necessary. So we stripped them down and made them, them way smaller. So they yeah. leave a, less of a footprint there. I'm, I'm so curious uh, with the uh, performance changes. Because th- I think the first thing I do want to do is as soon as I jump into 1.0, I want to see my current save. I know mm. I didn't like break, but I want to see the performance. Like how mm. that's different or changed. Um just as a thing, maybe nothing changed, but I would th- I would suspect it has. Um, yeah, it depends. I yeah, we'll see. I guess. Yeah. Um, but I guess back to the quality of life stuff. Um, chainsaw. We saw a teaser of this on Twitter, right? Uh, yeah. The chainsaw functions. Um, was it a teaser on Twitter? Mm-hmm. Uh, it was just where you can you can now chop down a tree, single or an AOE. Because the way we used to do it in the past was we had to make sure we spread out our inventory. To make sure it's full if we yeah. wanted to cut down a tree for some form of decoration where now we have a hotkey where we can change to cut down a single tree because there's a lot of people out there that like to use the vegetation in their factories um and whatnot so it's kind of a cool little thing instead of removing everything by accident and then yeah um but then we got loads of new buildables oh, um, loads is, is... Yeah, so, yeah a couple um what we get five windows no three windows i think Three windows. Yeah, three windows. So we had the the one, the octagonal one, hexagonal. Yeah, no, hexagonal kind of... one. Yeah, and then the there was also the yeah, the one with yeah, the yeah. like upside down Y. Yeah. Um. What uh, strips? And then there was one with a, a new frame around the outside. Yeah, it kind of. It looks like a bulletproof kind of thingy one. Yeah. Yeah. And now we got the small fence. The, then the larger fence variant, and then we got the well, chain the barriers, mill. right? They're both yeah. same size fences. One has like this tarp thing on top of it, <clears throat> and yeah. the other one is just see through. Yeah, that's the the, the, the chain ones, right? Yeah, the chain yeah. ones, yeah. And then yeah, there's the, the two barriers. The barriers, yeah. The barriers are double. It has a, it has a bigger brother, basically. <laughs> um, and I, I, and we, then we got foundation steps, which we kind of talked about last week, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Which Ooh, is foundation steps. Mm. Foundation steps. A cheeky little yeah. person saw it. <laughs> that was also a tiny bit in the frame with the little yeah. stairs. Yeah, because I was looking at it and was like, we know it can be built in game, but we know for a fact that with all these trailers, we know you don't do any of that kind of stuff normally. <laughs> that was a way nicer way to say that than what I heard you say on stream the other day. <laughs> Well, that you went shit at building. <laughs> <laughs> no, Snoot only builds boxes. <laughs> he only builds boxes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel so called out there. Um, and I think that was it with that, right? I'm going to guess these steps have a two variant. 
are too high because I don't think there's, there's need one for one meter, but I do believe that there should be one for two meter X. I think that's the one that we saw in the video at the end. I think that looks like a two meter one. Good um, question. There might be. I actually don't remember. <laughs> there might be. You built it. <laughs> yeah, but I only picked one. I was like, fuck, I'll build this one. Oh, okay. I don't know. Um, and then... Oh, yes. <sighs> yeah. You go on. You can talk about this oh, one. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. I've, we've been spotting it for a while. The mm. the new um, customizer metallic paint swatches. Oh, yeah. Um, although, Chinese. Yeah, it's... I think there were five materials, right? There was yeah, uh, the the shiny one, <laughs> the chrome. <laughs> They're one. all shiny. <laughs> yeah, chrome, bronze, oh, no, copper even, right? Caterium, chrome. I don't know why we don't note this down. Why? Yeah, why didn't we? <laughs> chrome, copper, uh, and then this one called unpainted, which unpainted, is sort of like, unpainted. It's shiny, so it, but with that the uh, extra glare and the so carbon just, steel, and then yeah. caterium. It basically says it in the name. I was just about to say, so it's basically machines, but that's unpainted. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just about to... Yeah. Um, and they look pretty cool, so... And you can uh, apply them to buildables, which is... Mm. Yes. <sighs> yeah, because we did see that in the particle accelerator and yeah. stuff in last week's trailer, and then what we saw in this week, so... Two um, weeks back, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess it two, was it two weeks? It. They were particle accelerators, I guess, in the last week as well. Yeah, it was... <sighs> It's been a long month. It's all it's a blur. <laughs> I don't know what's happened in this last week. So I don't know how many videos myself and Total Daily. combined have released yeah. in this past <laughs> two weeks. Uh, and we can only apologize for all of our speculation because <laughs> some of you must be annoyed. Um, well, it's like the more you speculate, the more right you should be at some point, right? It's like the more you hey, throw yeah, it yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get right. to that. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Um, which I guess could lead on to our next topic. Yeah. So alien tech. Well, well, we so. before we jump to that, we we should well, point well, out the Mercer Sphere reveal. Uh, the, yeah. Oh yes. That was. The, the, yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. I want to talk about this because I got it wrong. I I mentioned I, that it looked awfully like the Mercer Sphere's skin, but I didn't say it was the Mercer Sphere, so I'm just gonna say I'm yeah. half right. <laughs> the, I thought. Uh, uh, I. I got what the Mercer Sphere was going to do, but I didn't get what the purple thing was. I mm. thought the purple thing was a warp for a ship to come in or go yeah. out. That's what I thought it was for. Well, I but think I, there's, what, there's a lot of speculation what that was. There's a lot of theories, and uh, it, I'm just sitting there like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but you purposely knew because why was it so large? Oh, yeah. yeah, that no, was the problem. It. it was so big. You're like, yeah. Uh, yeah, and like, then I posted the teaser on stream uh, this week where it shrunk, right? And I was like, this will be an indication, maybe. And then, mm. Uh, mm? Yeah. And, then and then the final then clip. Time warp distillation or what everyone was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it, I, w I was... <laughs> I feel <laughs> bad for... Anyway. The scary thing of like doing these kind of things is like I always feel bad for people that think it's something and they're really excited like oh it's gonna be yeah whatever and then it's not that you know it's, yeah. it's something else so well, uh it's always like, like a risky move to do this thing, so. <laughs> but yes yeah, so like uh, I, I said I, I got what it was wrong but it could have been a portal but it, this body body what it's but, related what? to portals yes, though which we'll get on it, it, it is oh, yeah. which of. is which i'd I, I thought it was just going to be the Mercer Sphere in the MAM, which is true, but it's not just the Mercer Sphere. It's alien tech. Yes. It is everything from Summer Sloops to Samor. And it's not Samor. <laughs> oh, um, actually, it's Sam. <laughs> Sam. It's just uh, Sam. Everyone's going to call it Samor. Well, they're I, wrong. I, they're going to get uh, an F on the test. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, we it's now in the MAM. I don't... we. Um, we, we get to see like a, a, a few little glimpses of like a couple of branches in there. Um, and we then got confirmation that the Sam goes into a constructor and makes reanimated Sam. Yeah. Yep. Which is what me and Total thought was called the fluctuators. Yeah. But then yeah. it goes into a manufacturer with 
pipes and wire which makes some fluctuators. Yes. <laughs> so it's kind of right, but not on the wrong object. Yeah. So what we can take from that though, because we, we grabbed hold of it being a Sam fluctuator because one of your distorted messages was yeah. uh, it, it said strange alien matter fluctuator, presumably yeah. now. Yeah. Um, and was relating to the building of the converter. Hmm. So yeah, that's when the glitch thing happened, yeah. That's that's what's needed along with some other items to build it, right? Hmm. Right? Yeah, you build the converter with SAM fluctuators. So that's one of the parts to be able to build the converter. Do we know what the other parts are? Uh, I sure <laughs> do, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I don't remember, but it's it's like other parts. It's it's like other known parts. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so that, yeah, that's SAM. Which we also saw uh, is on top of the cliff next to the purple sluggo. Um, yeah. So we know we're basically two are now. Well, that uh, one was already in the game. So that, yeah, hadn't that one was moved. there. But the one we talked about last week in the Creator Lakes has been added. Yes. Um, so that one, but we don't need to talk about it. They talked about that one. Um, and now the next question is, I guess we could either stick with the Mercer Spheres or do we go down the Summer Sloops right now? Uh, I think we finished with branches. the Mercer Spheres. Yeah, the Mercer Have we? the best part, yeah. <laughs> Have we? Sorry? Merc Have we finished with Mercer Spheres? No, I, I, th I, I think we can we, we can talk about Mercer Spheres now and then go on to the Summer Sloop. Okay, so, Mercer Spheres. Actually, you can have this one, because I want to... No, no, you... No, because I don't want to confuse these Summer Sloop things. <laughs> the tier 5s and tier 6s. You can talk about that one. Great. Right. Mercy Spheres. Um, the Dimensional Depot. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. is unlocked in tier 3? Tier it's not... uh, 4, I guess, because Steel is... Steel is 4. So it's... Yeah, four, so, right? so it, it, unlo it unlocks in phase 2. Mm-hmm. Phase two, so I'm just gonna jot that down in there. So it, it comes well, in. Well, you in, in you four. can find them earlier, but you won't be able to like yeah. take advantage of it until then. Yeah, and this was something uh, we've kind of both touched on, which was the whole uh, remote storage, as in what we've been kind of seeing on the mm -hmm. on the the these things we've been the, the wiki, the redacted that? stuff. Never, never heard of it. What's that? <laughs> yeah, the redacted stuff, and it was originally in the trailer. So we knew it was coming um, from with the maybe something to do with the Mercy Spheres after they got saying it wasn't part of the story. So we kind of like, okay, then more than likely it's this. And the Summer Sloops have been the big question. But what it does, it is you put a belt into it and then it's kind of, the way I'm kind of seeing it, and I told Total this, it's like when the belt goes in, it's like using an Ethernet, like an Ethernet cable, so you get faster upload speed with your items that go in. So it's a remote storage that goes to your pocket dimensions, and you can open that via a tab. And when you open that tab, you can see the items in there. But it's you're gonna get a basic stuff because then you can go to the MAM and then you're gonna upgrade it, right? It's not sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. So from what we saw, when it goes in. It then uploads at 240 per minute. And then if we look at the shot, I, I shouldn't go really too much into this right now. Cause... Yeah, because like <laughs> those speeds will vary depending on how much you updated the... Uh, yeah, if you've upgraded it too depot. much, yeah. Because yeah. you can upgrade it in the MAM. Um, but then that goes into your inventory and then you can then drag the items from the tabs into your personal inventory. Mm -hmm. Or when you're building... It uses them if you don't have them in your personal inventory, right? Yep. That's pretty cool. Hmm. But then you can also tick a box up in the top corner and it only use your remote storage and not your inventory. Yes. Which is kind of cool as well. Yep. So, because I'm a player that uses large inventory mod, um, because as we know, going backward and forward, it can be a pain sometimes and using trains and making a whole depot and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> and this is kind of cool for that kind of thing. So I'm super happy that we have it so uh, am so i am i it's it's <laughs> awesome it's so it, it, good it is, a, it is a cool little thing and yeah. uh, i don't know which member of the dev team we need to uh buy beers <laughs> <laughs> well it's multiple multiple, multiple. Who worked on it yeah 
No, that, that's it's, a... it's it's so good because like and also something that I can clarify that like might be hard to know before you actually use it is like why would you because you can already you can grab stuff from the depot when you're building so like why would you mm -hmm. ever have anything in your inventory it's like I, I guess the first question people might have uh, yeah if you think about it and it it mostly has to do with the fact that like the upload speed is limited right yeah so when you're building your your factories and you you're sending stuff to your dimensional depot like mm -hmm. as soon as you use up all the stuff in your inventory or in the dimensional depot, you'll have to wait for your factory to like, you know, uploading yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, so you can sort of save that time by buffering the items in your inventory. Uh, or at least that's how I like to do it. So I like to move stuff out of the dimensional depot into my inventory. And as I'm running around, it'll upload yeah. to the dimensional mm. depot. And then as I'm running out of items in my inventory, I'll immediately have a full stack there. Or a yeah, a couple of stacks there. So, so basically, in short, what he just said, he when he goes to build a new project, he puts the storage down and then transfers items over, so things still carry on coming over. Yeah, yeah. And you can um, also put them in parallel, so yeah. you can have you know you can have two uh, dimensional depot uploaders and send in screws to both of them, and that will make the upload faster. Yeah, that's which what I was about to ask. What <sighs> about, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to ask that. So, in regards to this. Is there a limit on how many of these storages on the left we can have? Uh, yeah, it's based on the limit of Mercer spheres on the map. Oh, so yeah. potentially fifty. No, there's more uh, than that because the one of I the. Thought summer sleeps, I thought summer sleeps were one fifty. So no. I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin the fun right here because we've rebalanced the number of uh, Mercer spheres and summer sleeps on the map. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and there are there are significantly more Mercer spheres on the map now than there used to be, but we actually I think we've reduced the amount of summer sloops. On oh, you oh, joking? Summer sloops was that's... 151. Mm, yeah, so they flipped a little bit. Okay, yeah, but that that's going to bleed into Total's topic in a minute. Mm. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the the whole um, storage thing it's going to be it is really really cool, and I'm glad it's unlocked early as well. Yeah. Um, mm. and because I thought we might potentially be getting Sam in uh, tier 9 as the first thing to unlock. But I never yeah. thought about it going in. I know some people in my community have mentioned it, that it be, it could just be under the man. So GG's if you got that right. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it on that. So if, if it is based on the limited amount of Mercy Spheres, that could be a lot. So I'm guessing we can only have one of each item in there, right? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, there's well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, because like, if yeah, because if you was to put like you know ten, uh, put well, ten of them down with all screws going in, it's only going to go into a screw little block, right? Yeah, screw. It's, it's yeah. All, yeah, and and that's also something you upgrade, like how many stacks of screws you can have on the dimensional depot, and that yeah. uses massive spheres as well, by the looks of it. Uh, well, yeah, only to build the on. only to build the storage containers, but also for the the science, the research of it, isn't it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So to mm. unlock an upgrade, yeah, you need to spend Mercer spheres, exactly. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna and, guess the more upgrades we have, the further we need to be in our tiers and phases to get the bigger unlocks. Potentially, I, would I don't presume. remember. Yeah, I don't remember what the. It, it would make sense for it yeah. to to do that, like. Yeah. Maybe something in tier eight to unlock the mm. last bit of mercy sphere you need because you might need you probably need a mercy sphere and maybe and like maybe aluminium sheets or something. Let's just say that. If yeah. I remember correctly, most of the requirements to upgrade the dimensional depot is just finding more mercy spheres. So like I don't Ooh. think there are too I don't think there are too many like limitations in terms of like okay. progression for that specifically because that's something we yeah. want you to use throughout the entire game, uh, especially when you play multiplayer. By the way, that's also something to consider because. You know, the more people who are going to use the dimensional depot, the like the faster you'll drain the inventory from the mm -hmm. dimensional depot, right? So mm -hmm. that's also an aspect, and that also kind of balances out the fact that like two people can work on the same factory and they're twice as you know they're twice as fast at at building, but then yeah. they have less sort of resources in the dimensional depot because they're both taking from it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it kind of balances that out a little bit. With the um, Mercy Spear, since the uh wait so you said the summer sleeps have been reduced if you was in multiplayer there is an achievement for 50 summer sleep collection right maybe if, i don't know 50 <laughs> what if in multiplayer does if someone was to get 50 would that bleed over to someone else's achievement uh that's a good question i actually don't know 
Yeah, I'm just kind of wondering that because if it's someone just playing dedicated multiplayer, if someone was to pick fifty up, is it going to them? And then the the means. No, yeah, that makes yeah. I I think yeah. it's if you're in the session, you get it. Okay, but I don't guess, quote me on that because yeah. If, if best thing to do is if you do play with somebody, and when you get into one point oh, try it, and then if it doesn't work, grab fifty summer sloops from your inventory and send it over to your friend. See if that works. Mm. That could mm. work. Sneaky. Um, summer sloops total. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is a big one, so you can. You can yeah, there, there's a. We both speculated about the the big building, which we now know is the power augmenter, and yeah. that's available in tier six, I think. So it's it's <laughs> mid game. I don't ask me. I was already getting this wrong. <laughs> Okay, well, th well, don't quote me on it, but I think yeah. it's tier six. Um, but the the big thing about this, so many people had ideas as to what this could be. Like, yeah. is it a Tesla tower? Is it generating wireless power? Is it miners? Yeah, yeah, mining resources or harvesting something from the the ground, or is it splitting summer sloops? Is it building items from the summer sloops? Well, we we know there are. Th two and uh, maybe a half things for the summer sleep so i'm saying half because mm. we saw something at the end yeah but <laughs> before we get to that the the power augmenter just augments power yeah for it your facility it. yeah gives it gives you free power essentially yeah so you, it, it, more. it gives you 500 megawatts for just placing it and then mm -hmm. connecting it to your grid but from my understanding, <laughs> it, <laughs> you might have to clarify this, that it gives us ten, our grid 10% more power, but that 10% isn't stackable with the 10% from other power augmenters, though you can stack the total amount of power <laughs> by stacking the augmenters. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like like we, we just wanted to make it as confusing as possible yeah. like when explaining this shit. Um yeah, so so basically the way it works, right, is uh you have um if you just like look at it from like how much power you get from the power augmenter is if you look at it purely from like what you get from the building itself, it is, you know, your regular power production plus 500 times the amount of augmenters that you have, right? Mm -hmm. So like, if you remember the equation that I put on the screen, it's like the, <laughs> yeah. the the two first, like P plus 500N, that's just like how much power you get from the augmenter, you know, by itself. It's like having, you know, if you're adding biomass generators, like the more biomass gener generators you add, the more power you're gonna get. And then mm -hmm. like, yeah. Uh, and so the other half of it is the, the boost, right? So how the boost is calculated. And that's based on your, general power uh creation or your your cre um production right power production yeah and so and it's like you take your existing power production and you multiply it by uh 10 percent times the amount of augmenters you have right so if you have one augmenter it's 10 percent of your power if you have two it's 20 percent. if you have three it's 30 percent, and so on and so forth Wait, so I could put down 20 and it would be 200% of the total power of my... Yes. Ooh. Wait, 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 what? That's a, so if, if my power plant that I've just set up is producing 150,000 megawatts, mm -hmm. and then I place down 20 augmenters, you're telling me that... Wait, so I need to do the maths. Original? So if you made 20,000 megawatts of power in your factory without any power augmenters, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you place down how many did you say? 20. 20, right? So it's 20 times 500, which is 10,000, right? So you You're get You're doing the additional... maths on a calculator, right? Because so I'm get, not. Yeah. He's yeah. hitting it as hard as he hits his mouth. <laughs> 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 boom, 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 so boom. like the, the raw power you get from the augmenters, 20 augmenters by themselves is 10,000, right? Right. So 10,000 plus 20,000. This is how much now your grid has, right? Without yeah. boosting it, okay? And to calculate how much boost you get from having these augmenters, you take those 30,000 and you do uh, 30,000 times uh, 
uh, one, uh, so 0 0.1, I guess, 10%. <laughs> times 20. Oh, whoops. I messed up my calculator. I, there will Shit. be a guide on this. <laughs> <laughs> saying, there will be a guide on this. Which is two, right? So it's two times, so what was it, 30,000. So you get 60,000 boost. So that, that, that's 90,000 now and I'll... Yeah, and it's like more, it's, it's like three times <laughs> what you already produce without the augmented. So it's like, if I did the math right. Wow. So yeah. is it safe to say that late tier game is going to be very power hungry? Um, so the reason why we're, it's a little bit of an experiment, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Um, cause we know that, you know, this can escalate things, but also, you know how, like, it's very, um, uh, fortuitous to use summer sloops for power amplification, right? Because you yeah. get more of it. And that means that you get, you need a lot more power. So we, the way we hope things work out is that when you're amplifying your production, you'll need way more power. And then that will sort of even out by the fact that you're using power augmenters. Okay, um, yeah, that makes sense. In theory, at least. Uh, I'm a visual learner, and this is going <laughs> over my head right now. <laughs> so I need to science and see the numbers for myself and all that stuff with that. The the like, other thing with this that it's not just touched on was the production amplification. Mm. And so I was kind of correct with my first assumption of this being you put a summer sloop into the manufacturer or, yeah. or the constructor and it <clears throat> it looks like it doubles the output is that just double for every like production um buildable so, or so it depends on the building because if you place it in a constructor a constructor can only fit one summer sloop so it'll, oh yeah so so you, if you put one summer sloop in a constructor you will get twice the output so if it's generating, if it's make, if it's producing thirty iron ingots in a smelter, for instance, uh, same same deal there, I believe, you'll get sixty instead of thirty, right? So it's twice. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas in uh, the more expensive buildings, like the uh, manufacturer, I think you need four summer loops to get twice oh, wow. the output. Ooh! Um, if we so put if you, two in, do we get half or is it? Yeah, one and a half. Have? Yeah. Ah, okay. so it is. The, it is a twenty-five percent boost if for every single summer sleep in uh, the in, manufacturer. In the manufacturer, yeah. yeah. And it's fifty percent in the constructor. What about the smelter? I think it's the uh, same as constructor. Same as constructor. So you it's like the, all of these buildings now. And, and, I, and I think it's like two <laughs> slots for the refinery and yeah. uh, assemblers. Maybe also two. I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and then total spotted that it is. Uh, four times the more power as well when you pull yeah in. four times yeah. the power um because bits um picked up on this do you, and i don't know if you can say but in the redacted stuff it, there were buildables that were tier two variants you, you've spoken about this in a video with jace was this the solution to that is that why we have this sort of yeah because the reason why we don't have tier two like constructor mm. mark two or whatever it's time consuming. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because we felt like if we did that, we kind of wanted to make a different buildable. And yeah. uh, uh, actually, fun <clears throat> fact, the foundry is actually the Smelter Mark II originally. So oh. mm -hmm. when we made the foundry, that was the <clears throat> that was like the first prototype of the Mark II Smelter. Mm -hmm. um, and then we realized that like it's not it's not as simple as just well, it's not as fun if it's just like oh this just makes twice as much or it's just twice yeah. as good. We felt like mm, that's not interesting. It's, it's more interesting if they actually have some other, yeah. You know, mm. as, as I said, I think this is a cooler and smarter way than just doing a a, a tier two version. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's sort yeah. of yeah, it's the same vein, right? We wanted to solve like a, we want you to give an, another option on how you can yeah. overclock and 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 yeah. you know, and it get ties more in with out the, of less with the thing we've had for the whole time anyway. So yeah, and, with and the summer sleeps. the. Just touching up, you mentioned the smelter and then the foundry being the, the, the essentially the tier two variant. In the MAM video, there are mm. buildables missing in yeah. the certain alternate recipes um, yeah. where you would think they would be in the foundry. Is that 
Is that something to pick up on, or is that just you miss something out, or it's awfully quiet in here? It's an awfully quiet. <laughs> I uh... <laughs> we I can't see if he's doing anything right now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um... Because I, I even pulled that video, put it into editing software, and tried to raise the blacks, raise lower the blacks to see if he was using a black bar to hide anything behind it. Like, because I'm a nerd. <laughs> this wasn't intentional. Out. If I, uh, and uh, I'll just pat myself in the back or, or retroactively. Yeah. Uh, but I, don't, I don't know. I genuinely yeah. don't know. All, all the recipes that were shown, though, should have been in the buildings that was there. Because, like, there was one that was known to be in the assembler, but on a previous image mm -hmm. in another hard drive recipe, the assembler was shown. But it wasn't shown in the next one, which was. Oh, that weird might have too. just been like editing because I wanted to show off, like, here are four recipes, and oh, I was okay. in a later phase or something when I did <gasps> that. So, like. Ah, so you did it at different times because we yeah, were wondering, possibly. like, we thought normally if it's blanked out because you don't have the machine. No, I don't then... think that is the case, though. I think it all, at least currently in game, it always shows the machine. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Cause oh, I think... yeah, because you, yeah, you'll need to have it unlocked to get them recipes. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Because I think I think the case was uh, I, when I was recording that video, I wanted to showcase, like, I want to have four alt recipes in the list. And when I f started recording part of it, uh, I was at, like, <laughs> phase one or phase two or whatever. And then at that point, there are only so many alt recipes. So, like, since it's, uh, it's, since it's four recipes that are drawn from the pool uh, for each, like, slot, that okay. means like most of the alt recipes at that point in time were taken, so I mm -hmm. couldn't get any more. Like it was just like, because it tells you when you don't have any alt recipes that it can draw from the pool, it'll just tell you like you can't do anything with this hard drive right now, and and okay. it won't let you draw it because you need to get rid of one of the previous ones so it frees up those two slots, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it's, then it's you not, get to it's something we don't need to officially look into then. <laughs> no, I don't wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. And you, you can get a little bit gated in the early game because of this, uh, because of the, so, because it's reserving those slots. But it, like as you progress, it will even out. Okay, I I do have one question on the summer sloop still. So we we touched on the the production amplification. Can we use that on the fuel generators and, and power production buildings to double the amount of power produced? No. Yeah. Okay. It's only for product, like something that's mm -hmm. I being mean, power produced. production is something, yeah. but yeah, it's manufacturing something. Yeah, because now, because if you think about it, with what you just said a minute ago, with the whole boosting of yeah. twenty, yeah. and then if you was to put summer sloops in that as well, oh god, that would be uh, <laughs> a snowball. Like, you won't need to build a power plant again. Mm -hmm. Well, technically, you will just to get the end game. It is going to snowball even. regardless, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> So the next thing I think we can talk about is oh your favorite thing bits the Which? blueprint designer oh <laughs> <laughs> this video oh my god this video my speculations and everything in this video oh he's under NDA he's he's got this like oh boy um, <laughs> I was under fire I was up with my shield on this um but yeah like it it's it it kind of made sense to get bigger blueprints I, agree one, with you. I think it's one of the most requested things i believe yeah. yeah um most talked about things the thing is we got a five by five yeah why a five by five? Oh my god <laughs> why didn't we get an eight by eight or 32 by 30 why you're always gonna move the goal we're, you're you guys will always move the goalposts no matter what we have given you so, uh, yeah yeah but it, I'm, now, just, I'm just curious why a five by five and like not a six by six because I because I, I suspected a six by six and then I thought a Mark three was coming but maybe but because there's some features that I mentioned as well which I thought would come in but we only got announced the Mark two blueprint yeah mm. like we we still really believe that like it is an interesting you know problem you have to solve with the with the format and yeah. when we were seeing it you know like people were they were. Most people were managing to do stuff that we wanted them to do, and it's it's like they were on the cusp of of you know of excellence in a lot of cases. <laughs> they, like there were a lot of times when people were building stuff, and they were like, "Oh, I just needed to get this power pole in here, and it's just yeah. out of reach, right?" 
Um, and when we implemented the, the Blueprint Designer and we were testing it internally, we had the four and the five and we were testing it. And uh, we were like, five is great, four works. And we were like, mm -hmm. all right, let's give it to, to people and see how they feel. And for the most part, I think it worked out. Like there's a lot of really good mm -hmm. uh, like yeah. creative implementations. Yeah. yeah, and now we're at the point where we just feel like, all right, it was, it worked out okay, but we think if we just give one more step, yeah, it'll, it'll be. Pretty yeah. Good. So like, because I, I I don't use blueprints anyway. Like I, I I'm so I'm not worried too much about it, but I'm just coming from what the community has asked me mm -hmm. and stuff. So like because, um, with the whole uh, five by five, and then um, the whole, is there. Have you explored the possibilities of trying to connect the blueprints? Um, yes. I'm hoping is, he's going to smile on his face. It is very face. complicated. Okay. Yeah. Or really I, I, it. <laughs> it's 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 like solvable, but holy shit. Yeah. It's it's a yeah. pain in the ass. And because it, uh, like it does speed up time to obviously yeah you know spam blueprints and then you still have to do a bit of manual work to get into it uh, and whatnot because yeah. no, uh, I thought it was going to come. It's like a complicated thing and it's not like it's impossible to do it, but it's always the, it, this is the classic thing for us, right? Where, all right, we can, we could spend the effort implementing it so it works, but it's going to take yeah. so much time and it, we could spend this time in doing something else. We could spend yeah. this time making the dimensional depot, for instance, you know? Yeah. And mm -hmm. if it's like, would you prefer having, uh, you know, blueprints where you can connect automatically or would you mm -hmm. rather have the dimensional depot, right? Sometimes it might not be this clear cut when we're making the decision but it's it's, yeah. it's essentially these things that we're constantly balancing when we're deciding what to go with and whatnot yeah 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 so there's there's potential room for some in the future <laughs> um but vertical nudging i, I cause i've i've yeah. heard a, i've heard something people mentioned about it but i've never heard a clear thing about it from directly from a source why no vertical but uh because we ran out of buttons <laughs> for, oh, for <laughs> Wait. Can you just put so, control and then I don't know yeah. up and yeah, down? Yeah, yeah. We, I no, we're not against vertical nudging. I don't know. If, okay. I don't know if we've come off as that. It's just like we just when we made uh, nudging, when we were deciding on it, we just like oh, we don't have. It. We wanted it on the on the regular buttons and it didn't work. And control is used for other things, so like they clash yeah. with other. Uh, so so we just didn't figure it out at that time. And like we we might do it in the future. Like it's yeah. Not, yeah. Not a, out of the question or anything. <clears throat> it's not like we don't want vertical nudging. Um, yeah, just, I think I, I think what it is is because it's um, when you try to go to snap two blueprints together, and you try and and it it, it nudges it above. Yeah. So you have to yeah. put something below it and then put it on top. So it's a bit awkward to do it. So I think that's what it is yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then that's all we got on blueprints. So I was like, <laughs> are we? Is there more than what meets the eye here? See, I knew people would be fucking like disappointed by this, like. <laughs> <laughs> only like five the... by five is like uh, you asked for this for so long and then when I you didn't... finally get it it's the... like oh it's not good enough the thing is we want to be able to do railway blueprints to do mm. easy junctions <laughs> or corners and you can't do that in a five yeah. by five yeah but, <laughs> and but then but then it wouldn't matter how big they were because you'd have the issue with like you can't connect blueprints with each other right it's a similar like having oh, yeah. conveyor belts it's a similar problem yeah but I guess the new quantum quarter won't be able to fit in the five by five because it's no. six. No, but you shouldn't be building that many of them because they are. Hey, uh, excuse Tell me. Tell Bill Andrew yeah, that. I mean, <laughs> let's be reasonable here, okay? Like, I'm making pink juice. <laughs> <laughs> making pink juice for days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can clarify. Can we can we flush pink and blue juice? Uh, you mean like, uh, <laughs> like just flush it, you know? <laughs> I have an idea for this, but like I don't. Yeah, no, you can you can flush them. You can flush them as any gas or liquid. Okay. Oh, they, they, so, they, as you I could said, be I'm... standing like right outside the quantum encoder, just like flush, 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 flush. I'll yeah. get all rid of all the byproduct. So I said on the stream the other day, I'm, if if we can flush it, I am going to hire somebody just to stand there <laughs> and just flush a thousand containers. Yeah. Good, do uh, that. Buffers, yeah, I just flush it. So, mm. that's how that's how I make bauxite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, true. Um, 
Is that it for blue? I think that's it for blueprints, right? Yeah, I think we can get to the juicy thing. Yeah, the juicy thing. Mm. The so th this comes back to the the summer sloop again, and it's <laughs> the same power augmenter, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Except the really important thing here is we can see on the belt to the left there's a new item that hasn't been Wait, explained. No, no, no. That is it the important thing. Change it takes <laughs> off. It takes off and shoots lasers. Yeah, it reminds me of The Incredibles, where there's the uh, the alien <laughs> robot that just like goes on its ar le arms and legs and starts shooting everyone. Oh my god! Uh, uh, but, but yeah, what's yeah. on this belt? But what about the lasers, though? No, no. <laughs> aren't they cool? <laughs> oh my gosh. It reminds me of something like at a uh, at a fun fair, you know? Like I'm just gonna need seats on it, <laughs> like. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. What do you think it, it does? Bits. What? Uh, right. I. So, with the whole speculation that we've been having of everybody's, there's some people have been mentioning about potential miners, right? Uh, that it could be some form of mining source or building, and it's gonna um, shoot into the ground like it's gaining energy when it goes up and starts spinning, and then it sucks in so much power and then forces it somewhere so you're going to force it from the little water sprinkler thing at the top <laughs> or it's going to shoot the summer sloop into the ground or something but the the only thing i can think it could be in reality is now that <sighs> snut said about possible re reduced summer sloops is that we're extracting the data from it and whatever that machine is that's going into it what you just said on the belt a minute ago which we don't have a clue what it is, right? Mm -hmm. No idea. I um, thought it was the uh, assembly director systems at first, but it, yeah. it, it isn't. It... I feel like it's going to output an item, potentially, that could be another variant of a power shard so we can use them instead of summer sloops in machines. So like a pink power shard, not a blue one. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't... I like. What do you think? Um, I, oh, I, I have a couple of speculations, as yeah, always. I, I know we've not had a lot of time because we've got off stream and got this done. Like we've not managed to get a lot of research done. Yeah. So. Um, I think first and foremost, uh, it could be the starting animation. You know, like when you put down a, a well pressurizer. We know this generates well, yeah. the the 500 watts. What if once you put it on and you connect it to the grid, this is the animation that shows, and then it it, it settles does. down. And um, it's nothing to do with anything else. Just but yeah. why is the items going in then, but not before? Well, I'm not sure if it is going in or if that's just not being yeah, really sneaky. True. Yeah, um, I doubt it. But... <laughs> the other thing that I think it could be is. Um, it, it's a it it's like a, a flower that self pollinates, and it's it's a mummy daddy power augmenter that creates baby summer sloops for us. <laughs> I was wondering where you was going. With that. <laughs> <laughs> I was really. Um, and the other thing I was talking about in in stream the other day is that the the power augmenter, as we know, it looks a little bit like a power storage with the the kind of coils mm. around it, and it looks like it's. It's like slowly gathering power, so yeah. maybe it's got a really slow charge time, and it wants an hour or however however much power you have, it can output this summer sloop. Because if we only have fifty summer sloops in the game, I mean that's like twelve manufacturers <laughs> at full yeah, um, like power application thing yeah because we, we had a small little thing a little conversation about this and the other option was like when we get these summer sloops we are going to have to juggle them within our production yeah. lines for the main things and you mainly want to put them in like your manufacturers and not like a line of smelters is where you kind of want to put them mm -hmm. like early game yeah but like when you get to your bigger tiers and your end production like like your supercomputers and all this kind of stuff like um you're going to want to put them into them but then obviously you got the power to take into consideration with that but then um it's uh i just i don't know where to take this machine it's a weird one but the funny one which is probably not going to become a reality um total thought it was a place you can defend 
<laughs> yeah, tower defense. <laughs> tower defense. It's a new plasma thing. So uh, uh, I know Snut's keeping quiet because this is, is this a weird one. And I'm wondering if we'll find out on Tuesday or if we'll find out in game. Uh, hmm. The, the uh, I mean, a couple of other ideas, just looking at it. It kind of looks like it's using the summer sloop as some kind of focus. And so the, yeah. the problem is the pink, yeah. the pink laser is going up. But it, yeah. it feels like it should be concentrating those beams and, and going down either to like harvest something from the Earth's core, maybe, mm -hmm. for a, a late yep. game space elevator tier item. Because it, it does sound like we've got at least one more space elevator part on the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, it, 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 it's either... Because it can't be something you put in there that gets consumed once because you're going to run out of summer no. sleeps. It has to be something that's reusable. Uh, and it's 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 it, it it's like it's focusing all its power and strength and gathering lots of energy, and it's going to smash into pieces. And uh, if it, it's not going to smash into pieces, but like you can, it gives you you feed it some items. And I'll put some, that's why I'm kind of leaning towards these kind of things. That's mm. my only thing about it. Um, it does look awesome though. It, it, it looks it amazing. It looks sick, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, the space elevator was one of my favorite looking buildings because of how it moves and everything yeah, like the that. animation. But, like, this could be my new favorite building because I'm probably just going to stir at it and I'm, I want to see what it looks like in Lumen. So, oh, this yeah. building has easily the best sound design out of all the It sounds before. like a bloody transformer. Yeah. So. So, what do you think it, it is, Snut? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's a power augmenter. <laughs> oh, I fell into that one. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Uh, you think it's a what? A power augmenter. Augmenter. Mm. This power is going to be augmenter. one of the big things that people are going to be talking about in the comments now. So I don't uh, know. They're going to talk <sighs> about Mercer Spheres. Those are the real thing. <laughs> possibly bully prince <laughs> <laughs> um i'm so excited for is there anything we missed on in in that now uh i can't think of anything i mean I'm, yeah i don't know i don't think so so we're gonna we're gonna try and hopefully try and get this out tonight but it's getting i don't want to get this video out too late because it's it's been what two hours now since that trailer come out yeah It'll be so, a push. Yeah, I want to try and get this out for a couple of hours from now. And then more than likely, uh, I know Total's going to do a breakdown video. I will do one over the weekend as well. Yeah. So we can try and stitch everything together, make it a little bit more visually. But uh, is there anything else? Is there anything else? It's done? You're asking me? Or mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, anybody? Yeah, well. <laughs> There's only three of us in the room. I feel like you got. <laughs> nah, I think you covered it pretty well. You got plenty of ideas as to where, where, where things could go, and uh, I think uh, we're all in a good spot here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So well, uh, yeah. Um. But thanks for coming, Snout. I yeah. We, we appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Any uh, no. Dev stream on Tuesday. Are we on YouTube, right? I think I saw you on TikTok Live the other day, right? No. Wait, were we? <laughs> You was on TikTok Live the other day. Really? I was pooping and I went to TikTok. That's my little ritual. <laughs> and you was live. So either someone's created an account. What the shit? <laughs> <laughs> but I saw it live. Yeah. So I was like, I didn't know this was thing. Huh. Yeah. Well, whoever yeah. that is, you're exposed. <laughs> yeah. um, Someone stole my identity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm guessing it'd be... Should, what time did you say it was? So we'll start streaming at 2 p.m. CEST. 2 p.m. And then uh, okay. the, the update, I mean 1.0, drops at 5 p.m. CEST. Then we can get our hands on it. Nice. Yes. And then you can uh, finally build some power augmenters and completely ruin your power grid. <laughs> and play with lasers. <laughs> and play with lasers, yeah. Um, but again... Thanks for the uh, just what you do and the dev team. And again, make sure you put comments. Write some nice comments. It's just the right thing to do. Uh, put it in mean, total's comments. 
in my comments and we'll make sure that Snook passes whatever on because they'll more than likely watch this. Just don't the mention the blueprints. <laughs> 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 it's a touchy subject. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got an additional one, so let's take it for now and then maybe you expect some in the future. Hmm. Um yeah. Tol, anything you want to say? No. Well, once again, yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to, to join us. Thank you for the, the work with the trailers. They're amazing. And it, it's fantastic having these teasers to really play around with and, and get buzzing with the, the community. Yeah. Not many um, games that I follow do that. And it's uh, been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. yeah. With and it. I think so. I could um, say for us all that when that trailer drops on Tuesday, it's definitely going to bring a tear to my eye for sure because it's going to be it's been a long five years yeah making content on this yeah. and uh the amount of videos and just everything uh and then it's just come to this final little push now and then it's like i know uh, like it's the baby's all grown up um yeah and yeah it's going to be an exciting time for the next chapter but then it's also a sad time because yeah but mm -hmm. i'm uh, super looking forward to it so well, it's a, it's a new chapter for us. Yeah. 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 I um, can't wait. I can't wait. But guys, um, thank you so much for watching. And for me, keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video. And until next time, ciao for now. And I'm Snurt. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'm that was coming. <laughs> <laughs>